You're joining me as I'm about to go to the world premiere of George Clooney's new film, Suburbicon, starring Matt Damon and Julianne Moore from a script by the Coen brothers. Earlier today, Cinema caught up with the stars of the film and the director at the press conference here at the Venice Film Festival. Welcome to Suburbicon, a town of great wonder and excitement. Hey there. Built with the promise of prosperity for all. You know, the Coens just didn't get it made for a period of time, and I think probably after Fargo and Burn After Reading and films like that, I think they'd sort of exercised this kind of film and didn't really want to uh, go back and do a film like this again. The, the reality is that these are elements that have always played underneath, you know, in, in Americana. You know, the suburbs are a big part of our lives. It was a big part after World War II. This was a way for uh, the new middle class to have a home. These, these people move into the neighborhood and we have this, you know, very sort of iconic am uh, American family that are doing just dastardly things. Son, there's something I have to tell you. Those men killed your mom. I look kind of like an average American person, and so I think directors get to have fun kind of playing different uh, variations of, of, of what that might mean. Um, and in this case, George it was very, George and Grant knew exactly what they wanted to say with the film, and so I was useful to them in that way, and, and uh, the beneficiary of being in a great movie as a result. Mr. Lodge? Yes. You know a character named Rizzoli? He's a loan shark. If you were into the mob for money, that might explain what happened to your wife. Hi, pal. I will agree, first of all, that uh, the insane Matt Damon is, uh, is part of the fun with this. Th this character is the closest thing to the real Matt Damon that we've ever seen. So. <laughs> this is the last time that clown's gonna ignore us. Take care of a kid. Thank you. First of all, I was flattered that George asked me to play both characters. When he sent me the script, he was like, I want you to look at them both. And I was like, well, that's, you know, that's fun, that's novel. And, and, and he was trying I, to uh, save money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One paycheck. <laughs> I, I was interested in how one sister was so desirous of the other one's life. You know, um, in a sense, the character of Margaret really is very low status. She has no agency. She has, she's not married. She doesn't own her own home. She has a job in a grocery store. And to her, her sister Rose has the perfect life. We've decided it'd be best if your Auntie Margaret came and stayed with us. Mickey needs a mother. We'll be strong. We'll be fine. The way monsters are formed is not that they just twist their mustache and they're bad people. You're, you're formed. And it happens through a series of really stupid mistakes and compounding them. Um, these are two characters who make a plan not particularly well thought out and not, you know, the best of plans, obviously. But they compound at every single fork in the road that they could take, make a choice, they make the wrong one. I have to make decisions like what's best for the family. <laughs> Any progress on the investigation? A mobster got killed a couple of days ago. I can end the conversation real quick. I'm sorry for his loss. Of life? Yeah, I guess he probably is too. They bumble into some really terrible things and they become monsters. By the end, when Matt sits with his son, that's not who he was when he started the movie. The fact that Julianne is trying to poison him beforehand wasn't really who she started out as. She just wanted to have the happy life and happy family. You know, we didn't want this to just be this polemic that is just a, a, a civics lesson. We wanted it to be funny. We wanted it to be mean, uh, but it's certainly angry. 